G'day, in today's video, I'm gonna do something a little different and just run you through a bit of a journal diary style video. I'm just gonna talk about some of my practices I do when I'm not busy. During the Christmas period or just post the Christmas period, January for me is a super quiet period. So in January, most of my corporate clients are on holidays themselves. Shoots don't really start coming back for me until early Feb. So it's obviously a great time to take six weeks off and just enjoy the family and enjoy time off over Christmas. But over the years, we've had to learn to be quite proactive and productive at the back end of the year to put money aside to cover the six weeks off. Obviously, as a freelancer, you don't get holiday pay. So it's super important just to make sure that you're putting your money aside and preparing and enjoying the time off rather than being a stressful time. So what I also like to do during that time off is have a bit of time in the office and in the garage. I like to kind of go through and see what gear I haven't really been using for the last 12 months or so, and then kind of make an assessment and a decision on whether or not I'll keep it or whether or not to chuck it up on Marketplace or eBay, declutter a little bit and just have a little bit less. So this year I ended up having a whole bunch of additional audio gear that I kind of got to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of this. So the things I got rid of were two sets of Rode Go 2s, a Rode Wireless Pro set, an old Zoom F1 field recorder, a DJI RS2, the small rig cage for the R5C, eGPU enclosure, my old Deity Connect kit, got rid of two Sennheiser G3 kits, Semyang 85mm, 1.4, plus a battery grip I had for my 5D Mark IV, which I seriously had for two weeks before a sale came on for the R5 mirrorless, and obviously I changed kind of systems. That had been sitting there for years, so it was really good to finally get that one out the door. And an old DJI phone gimbal. I can't even remember which one it was. A couple of things I haven't sold were the generic battery charger for the Rode Go 2s, also the Samyang T.15 35mm kind of cine style lens, and the graphics card that was for the eGPU. Hopefully they get sorted in the next month or so. I put most of them up on Marketplace first, and some of the things sold pretty quick, but for the stuff that was taking a little bit longer, I ended up putting it up on eBay and actually getting rid of it pretty fast. Obviously the downside with eBay is that eBay take a decent fee, but in the scheme of wanting things gone and just having a bit of money back for it, I definitely feel there's value in doing the eBay. And obviously it's less mucking around with eBay. On Marketplace, you get those texts saying, hey, is this still available? My brother's uncle's sister's auntie's going to come pick it up and we need to use pay ID. And you're just like, oh Christ, okay, just go away. I know it's a scam, so just bugger off. I do find that there's less mucking around on eBay, which is just great for time saving, but obviously you're paying a premium to sell it. So I definitely encourage you to go through any gear that you have and just have an honest chat with yourself and go, hey, am I going to use it? Have I used it? And is it still providing me value? If you seriously don't think you're going to use it in the next 12 months, then high chance it's better off out of your life, keeping things less cluttered and just having a little bit of cash back to uh, either spend on other gear or just to have fun and spend on your family. One of the other things I like to do every 12 months or so is go through the product boxes that I've kept from new gear. In general, you know, if there's a warranty with that product, it's going to be a 12 month warranty, give or take. So generally I like to keep the box for that just in case I have to send it back or if I'm going to sell it pretty quickly after buying it, realizing it just doesn't work for me or not working in my workflow or whatever it is. It's nicer sometimes to sell it with the box, but definitely not necessary and definitely not necessary for warranty in most cases. But I'll go through and clear out those boxes. So it can be quite liberating, you know, starting your January, February with a nice clean office or garage or wherever you store your stuff and just having that feeling of, okay, cool, we've got a new fresh slate for the year, I've gotten rid of any other gear, I've got a bit of cash back, and the cupboard's looking nice and clean, which is a big part of working for yourself. So it's managing all the aspects of you know, running the business. And part of that is keeping things clean, tidy, organized, having a, a good take on your inventory, and obviously just getting things gone that don't need to be with you anymore, and uh, obviously, that can also prepare you to buy new stuff too, which is always exciting as well. So I hope this helps someone out there. Take the time. You know, it probably took me probably three hours in total to photograph, box up, go to the post office, 
sell the stuff, post it on eBay, marketplace, all that kind of stuff. So three hours in total. I think I sold probably around 4K worth of stuff, which is kind of cool to get back, but just that really good feeling of feeling nice and tidy and a little bit more lean in the gear space. So feeling good, ready for a cracking year, and we'll get back into it. Cheers.